All right, so I think I've played a little too much Withering Waves, if I'm going to be honest. And so I kind of just want to show off why I think so of that case scenario. Okay, that might be a little bit weird how I'm saying that. But anyways, so if we just take a look at the map, let's go to my Exploration tab. Here's all the locations of the game. 96% is my lowest percent. However, I have 90 to 100% of all these locations, and the only thing I'm missing are just like one one supply chest and all these that one looks like i'm missing a lot but that could be one chest that could be one or two depending on what the percentages are this one definitely is one chest that i'm missing i would assume but anyways i fully like 100 percented like this whole area and i know it's like 99 percent technically because i missed a few chests but i i'm just trying to make that clear but i'm, I'm still saying it's 100 percent because those would be found i'm hunting second thing is we go to my resonators. Well, let's go to a different tab. This makes it a lot more clear. I have every single character in the game except for one four star and one five star, and she's not even out yet. And when her banner comes out, she's going to have this four star one in, and I'm going to buy some rolls, which I haven't put any money into this game yet up to this point, but I'm going to pretty soon. So I'm going to have these two characters coming up, and then the only character I'm going to be missing is my least favorite character. So I got super lucky. And got everybody except for the one i hate the most so unless i get unlucky and when i'm rolling for her i get her but then i'll just be missing one character in the game which will be very nice um if we go to the store whoops i don't have any five star weapons yet let's go to convey i have 50 rolls into this and 40 rolls into this so i'm pretty close to getting these two five stars and i am in a buy some rolls for these because i do want to get a sword to go with the character and then i also just need another five star weapon and once i hit level 45 which i'm level 36 um i'll get another five star weapon and that's three five stars so i'm set um if we go to the event um i got to tier five or i beat round five fully max out all the levels in this and then the next one i don't know if i want to attempt it or not yet um, this Tower of Fantasy or whatever, I just hate it. I, I don't even care about it. <laughs> Complete all this nonsense. There is this, which last night it did come out, and the second it came out, I went and just blew through it, but it was only, um, the one. I have to wait for these next tracks, but, yeah, that was easy. Um, but that means just the first level is probably going to be more difficult later, I'd hope. If we go to Guidebook, I finished all of my Guidebook quests a while back. Um, where is it at? Oh, also, these bosses right here, I got up to three on each one. I think I can do the level 70 boss for this one, and this one, and maybe this one. And then the Bunky, I don't think I'm going to be able to do the level 70 version of it. Guaranteed, I can get level 70 done on this guy. Um, I did all the skill trainings for these characters, which was just obnoxious with how long these loading screens are. Um, yeah, fully maxed out my milestones. Where's the next thing? um data bank i have every five star in the game for these animals go back to the resonators i have full sets and then um of these five star guys right and they're all maxed out to level 25 so 25 25 25 25 25 go to ling yang 25 25 25 25 25 and they're all max tuned out and on top of that i have all of the fortes i can humanly get before level 40 because i have to get to the next phase which level 40 is like insane amount of xp i haven't spent any money yet on anything so it's like a little harder to level up because of that i got all their fortes maxed out they're all level 60 but look at this i got all these guys level 60 then 50 and then the rest of these characters i don't really care about i mean i like her this is like from her up are all the characters I like, and then the rest are kind of like duds, in my opinion. But, uh, the less reside, less, I don't even know. Whatever. Now, the next thing is duplicates. I have one duplicate of the healer, which I wish I had more because you can get a revive right here. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five dupes for him, two dupes for her, none for her, none for him. Five for her, two for her, one for him, and then the rest I don't have dupes for. So, there is that. Um, 
I finished all of the quests in the entire game, all the side quests. There is um one quest I need to beat, but that quest isn't even out yet, so if I go to gallery, I can show it. It's this quest. It's the story quest for the next event character. I don't have that quest done. I got all these scenario things, but that's I 100% in all those areas, so that kind of checks out. Um, we go to backpack. I have a four star weapon for everybody, and then I just made I just crafted this four star. I think this is the one I crafted. So when I get how she, I can have a weapon for. Her. And I do know you can combine these, so like I can put these three fist gauntlets and combine them into one to make it better. But it really, I don't really like the percentage on that, and I'd rather everybody have a four star weapon for now. And I think I'll be fine on that. Um, all of these five star echoes, I've been getting rid of a lot of them because some of them are trash, but um, that's fine. I have ten of these extra cubes, so once you max out the cube shop for the robot, you'll have ten extra, which is interesting. Um, where's my resources? Did I pass them? Oh, they're right here. I've been collecting these gold ones. The masks are the hardest to get, the rings are the second hardest, and then these two are pretty easy to get. Because these are from tacit discords. These are from the animals, like the turtles and bears. And then these are from the people, and these are from the mutated people. So, like, that's kind of how the order of that goes. These three right here, you can only get, like, you can only do one of these bosses or three you can do one of these bosses three times each week so i'd either do this one three times or do them all once and i'm going to do them all once every week until i get those up um this blue and purple tuner dust is the most pointless stuff in the entire game i never even touched it i didn't want to level up any of my discords until i had the tier five ones and i've already like tuned them all up and i still have 570 left because the chests give you so much um let's see here oh wait how much money do i have and I also have a million credits with all of the leveling I've done. And I've bought all the materials out of all of the shops. But, I mean, I think they just reset, so now they, they're kind of open. But the gift shop is fully maxed out for everything I bought. Um, now, one of the things, the only things I really have left to work on is the thins, thins, I can't even say, the synthesizer upgrades, the cooking upgrades, and the shop right here in Tiger Mall Mine. I'm still working on his shop. It's a little bit hard to get the materials to buy stuff there because it's like a daily material. And I have the Overdash Club. I do have these, but I did everything I could here, which is 15 out of 24 before my three main characters were out of vigor. And I don't really feel like leveling up other ones until like I have all the materials for them. When I hit level 40, I can just immediately make them level 70 and max them out. But I did do all of these bosses um, to tier 3 difficulty. I beat tier 4 difficulty in this. I think I said 5 on accident, but I never got tier 5 out of the way. But I got tier 4. I have quite a bit of shinies, actually. Let me go take a look at that. Uh, where is my data bank? Here it is. So if we go through here, let me see which ones I have shinies of. I have the shiny tortoise. Right here, he's just in white. It's not very much different than the other tur tortoise. Scroll down some more. I don't have the monkey. I don't have the monkey yet, but I do have this guy. I got him as a shiny. It's not much of a different shade of color. He's just bluer. Um, did I get the shiny for this guy yet? I don't think I did. I did not. Um... Where's the other ones? Oh, I got the Thundering Mephis shiny as well. And I did get the Rocksteady uh, shiny as well. So I like this. I think this is my favorite shiny in the game is him and the Thundering Mephis. Even though Thundering Mephis is only slightly different, it is noticeable. And I like it. Also, I did max out this, which I think is obvious. But I have way more XP than this. I'm waiting for him to have more levels. So I can't even claim those rewards. And that's like, that's 80 Asterite that I can't get. And I calculated how many chests I've opened. So with all my chests open, I rounded it up by 1,000 in this calculation, just so you know, just to make it an easy number to remember. Um, I've spent 50,000 Asterite on openings. And that's $750 worth of free content. 
But, you know, the developers gave us, like, here's 10 free pulls, here's another 10 free pulls. I just calculated those into Astrite 2 for this. So, like, it's all of the stuff I got for free so far in this game is $750 worth of Astrite. And that was calculating the $100 pack on here. Not, I don't think I calculated the bonus, though. I only calculated this much, so it'd be $750 worth of just buying it without the bonus, because you only get the bonus one time. So you could take $100 off and say, oh, no, you could take... I should have calculated this one. Wait, why did I calculate the $50 one? Well, I calculated it in the $50 one, so there you go. And um, I think that's it. Is there anything else to show that I've accomplished on here? There's, there's like nothing left. There is nothing left for me to do. And um, that's why last night I was happy because I was sitting on here. I was just sitting here staring at my screen because I didn't have nothing to do. And then this quest popped up and I'm like, finally something to do. And then I went and grinded it and it was one quest and I had to wait another day for the, or until tonight to do the next thing. So yeah and then i guess from now on i'm just gonna be looking for these last chests but i've combed over these areas i don't even know how i didn't get the, the final chest that's here in this area i don't i don't even understand that but yep i'm just gonna be rounding out these last few chests that are hiding from me lurking and then once i do that i'll have my explorers guild maxed out and i'll just have to wait until they add more content into the game but anyways this game is super super fun and like I fully recommend it for a free game. It does have its ups and downs because it is a brand new game and they're adding stuff into it still and updating it and fixing their servers and stuff. But they're working hard on it. Every time they have a mistake, they send us in rolls or Astrite and it's always like a decent chunk. Like Genshin would probably give you like 0.5 of, a, of one of those gems. On here, they'll give you enough for a whole roll or they'll just give you 10 rolls if it's really that bad. And it's really nice. They gave us 600,000 uh, credits with enough, and then enough gems for a, or enough Astrite for one roll because there was some kind of wording error in another language. So, I mean, like, these developers, like, you can't really, you can't really put a, you can't really, like, complain if the servers and things like that are buggy. Like, if I come out and I start moving, see how it's, like, zero frames for a second? It, like, has to warm up on your computer for, like, an hour before it stops doing that. But, see, it's starting smooth because I've been talking for a bit. But you can't really complain about that because they keep giving us rewards. They're like, we're sorry. Here, take take $10 worth of free spins. And it's just like, okay. This game's never had a bug before in its entire life. But um, I fully recommend you guys trying this game. There is a lot to do in it. There's a lot of secret Easter egg chests and stuff like that where, like, I don't, I don't want to spoil it for you, but there's a lot of chests that are just like, you have to do a little secret Easter egg for it, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't 100%ed all the areas. But I think the areas I did 100% all had secret spots in it. Yeah, this one had a secret chest. This had two secret chests in it. Um, last night, I found a secret chest, I think, in the... Oh, no, I found the secret chest, like, right around here. And then I found another secret chest somewhere in here. And then right around here, uh, right here, there's a super annoying secret one. I didn't realize what I had to do. And then I ended up being like, oh, there's one of these things. And I'm like, oh, I know how to activate that. And I got that secret chest. And there's a lot of hidden quests and stuff like that in this game that don't have quest markers or show up in your quest book, which I'm still trying to find. So there's still a lot of secrets and stuff hidden in here. Even though I 100%ed like basically all of these, there's still little things that you can do and find in these maps. And I'm figuring out that are really cool and interesting. Anywho, that's all I really wanted to do for this video was show this off. But if you guys have any questions about this game, maybe I can answer them for you. So, you know, make sure to comment whatever, any anything you need help with or something like that. And um, I'll see what I can do. And if not, then, um, then I don't know what to say. But I do know quite a bit about this now. And I am fully into this game for its life cycle is what I'm hoping to do anyways. I mean, that's what I came into this game doing. It was like, I was wanting to make this one of my main games to play. But I'm just like in a tough spot because it's just like, now that I have that, this XP bar or my XP bar right here will not go up until I get more of this energy. And now I could buy energy with money or Astrite, which I, I will only ever put my Astrite towards opening boxes to get new characters and stuff. And so that's one of the reasons why it hurt my level, because I want to get all the five-star stuff. 
So, anyways, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the next one. I know this was kind of a long one. It was kind of just talking, but yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. Adios, amigos. That's it. That's my TED talk.